I finally got coronavirus. So like any gamer would, I decided to spend my time in quarantine gaming. And what better game to play than Elden Ring? I hadn't beat Melania yet, so that's what I set off to do. Here's the weapon I use, and my stats going in. I don't use summons, and I don't use magic. I'm a real gamer. To start, I was just going in, trying to learn the moveset, getting used to the boss, figuring out when to attack. She regains health from hitting you, so I wanted to avoid getting hit as much as possible. It wasn't going well. Eventually it became easy enough to avoid her normal attacks, but she also has these special attacks that are usually pretty easy to spot due to a big windup, telegraphing the move. I learned how to deal with most of them pretty easily. She has this move with this large windup. If you're close, you can just keep your calm and roll to avoid your slash, or if you're further away, you can just run away and her slashes will both miss you. She has this move where she tries to grab you. It can be easily dodged with a well-timed roll. She has the stab, which can be spotted easily and avoided with a roll. For this move particularly, I kept accidentally turning directions too quickly while sprinting, leading my character to do a long, slow turning animation that you cannot roll during. It easily led to me getting hit. A lot. She has this move that can be read by the sparks coming off her sword. This one was a bit more of a problem. If you're somewhat close to her and just try to roll away, you'll get hit. I found it was better to dodge the attack by rolling in her direction, but I would still often get hit by at least one of her slashes in this move, which I just kind of ended up having to accept. And then, she has the most awful, most annoying, most unfair move in the whole game. You literally can't do anything about it. She does it and automatically 90% of your health is taken. It's dumb, it's stupid, it's annoying, and it's infuriating. How? What do I do? And I couldn't do anything about it. You can't do anything. It's so stupid. What? So I kept dying. And dying. And dying. Until I finally had enough that day. Of course. Bullshit. I had recuperated my energy and was ready to hop back into this challenge I had brought on myself. After some warming up, I finally started to feel like I was getting closer to beating her. I was starting to be able to dodge most of her special attacks and could get a good bit of damage in. But just when I thought I would be victorious this time, she'd pull out that stupid dumb annoying move and kill me again. I eventually was able to avoid it once or twice. I found that if I was far away and began running away as quickly as possible, her first two bursts of the strike would miss me, and for the third I could roll towards her, and sometimes that would avoid the last part of the attack. And avoiding that move for the first time reignited my hopes of actually being able to beat this boss. But my ambition began to fade as each death continued to chip away. Over and over, I'd go in and just get swept. I could only hear so many times before wanting to commit war crimes. I stuck to it, and after countless deaths, all 
all my time and hard work had finally paid off. And of course, there's a second phase. Did I even have what it takes? I didn't know. Should I just go grind somewhere else and level up to make the boss fight easy? No, that's not the point of these games. The point is to challenge yourself, to prove that you can accomplish what you put your mind to and what you dedicate yourself to. I would not take the easy route. I would not go level up. I'd fight and kill this big red-haired bitch no matter how long it took. I went and got some inspiration to remind myself what I do this for. And I started grinding. After a long warm-up, I finally felt like I was back into things. I had developed a strategy that I started using where I realized that if I used a jumping strong attack from far enough away, I could often pull it off without her hitting me. I could even get a second hit in sometimes. I was also trying to keep my distance after landing some attacks so I could regain my stamina and try to avoid getting hit by her big dumb special move, which she would usually only do once, maybe twice in the first phase. I was getting to the point where I was trying to break her poise and was usually successful at it. I kept grinding. Finally, was able to consistently get to the second phase. Yes, okay. I even got it three times in a row at one point. But the second phase was just destroying me. <laughs> Every time I got to the second phase, I would just die so quickly. 
It was hard to learn the moves though because it took so long to get back. I started experimenting. Didn't usually have enough stamina for heavier armor, and too light of armor felt too unprotected. After more and more dying, Get another rage quit. I was done for the day. The warm up just took so long. So long. It took so freaking long just to get past phase one again. This move is so freaking dumb. I hate it. I hate this game. Oh! Until I finally got to phase two again. Oh wait, I didn't. I just kept dying to this dumb, stupid character. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty convinced now that my DualShock 5 was ignoring about every 20th button press. A man can only take so much of a beating. After what felt like forever, I'd finally given up. That's right, the story doesn't have a happy ending. I wasted so many hours, dying hundreds of times. Life isn't fair. Give up on your dreams because most of the time they aren't achievable. Don't waste your time like I did. And so I set the controller down and I decided that was it. I was done trying at this level. I had been beaten. But then, a memory from my childhood came to mind. Words from one of the wisest anthropomorphic foxes out there that I had heard long ago. Don't ever give up, my son. And so, I didn't. After clearing my mind and remembering what I do this for, I got back in. I decided to mess with my armor and change up my flask. This seemed to really do the trick. I was finally able to get past the first phase again more consistently. After warming up again, I was ready. <laughs> this time, I had a plan. I would wear heavier armor and use charms to increase my health so that I could hope to survive that stupid dumb special attack she has. In my flask of wondrous physic, I would use the opaline hard tier to help boost damage negation and the green burst crystal tier to boost stamina recovery. The plan would be to use the wondrous physic flask at the beginning of phase 2. This is because I knew I'd be taking damage from more of her attacks in this phase and because I knew I'd be dodging and running away more during the second. And now that I felt I was able to get past phase 1 reliably, I would use Morgoth's Great Rune to raise my max HP even further. To help with the increased weight of the armor I was using, I had Pickled Turtleneck in my pouch and Preserving Boluses in case she got me with the Scarlet Rot. And with my new game plan in mind and a limited number of resources left, all I had to do was execute.
times in a row, baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> After fighting her for about this long, and dying about this many times, I had finally won. Too much of a freaking gamer. Let's go. Mm. 480, holy shit. Yes! Let's go. Finally, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yes. All right. <clears throat>